When it comes to figuring out the framing for conversations, using the 180 degree rule is usually a safe bet to make sure that you don't confuse your audience. But when you have more than two people in a conversation, it can be difficult to figure out where to place your cameras as well as your actors. So let's take a look at a scene from A Knight's Tale to give you some ideas of techniques to use for your videos. In this scene, William, who is a servant played by Heath Ledger, has just won a jousting match and Roland, his fellow servant, is trading the prize for money. We start with an overhead establishing shot so that we know where they are as well as where everyone is positioned before the conversation starts. 15 silver florins, he didn't want that. The first shot keeps all three in frame as they are all on the same page with taking equal part in the prize money. That's five for William, five for what? I for Roland, who's going straight home to England. But as William starts to think of other possibilities, he walks away from the others as the two of them group together on the opposite side of the frame. This is prepping for a confrontation between them and William, as well as establishing which side of the 180 degree line will be used for their conversation. We could do this. Do it, we've done it boy, that's silver in your hand. I mean, we can do this. The first close-up of him shows him telling his idea of what they should do. We can be champions. With the two of them on the other side having conflicting plans. Give us your coins. Well, now, come on, give me your coins. Then back to a wide angle as he takes the coins back. Right. right, now that's one for you. And one for you. Which leaves... 13. Back to close up as he explains his plan further. That's 13 for training and outfitting. Now, the tournament in Rouen is in a month from now. In one month, we could split a prize bigger than this one. And them on the other side of the frame, still in disagreement based on their body language. In one month, we could be on our way to glory and riches none of us ever dreamed of. Followed by them saying what they would rather do. In one month, we could be laid in a ditch with Sir Hector. I don't want glory and riches, William. I just want to go home. Tansy cakes with peppermint cream. Dilled veal balls with squash fritters. I'll take my five now. <sighs> Did you notice what just happened? He walked across the frame and broke that 180 degree line they were having their conversation in, showing that he's not going to go along with their desires. We then have a wide shot of them all walking together, which is a great way to keep your conversations interesting because just standing there with a back and forth on the 180 degree line can get boring if it's a long dialogue. But you can't even joust. Well, most of it is the guts to take a blow, to strike one. Guts I have. But now they're all framed together as they point out the cons of his plan and William counters their arguments. The camera moving with them while they're walking is also a visual way to show how the plan is moving forward in his mind. And once they stop, they move into a two-on-one position which is another confrontational stance between them. In the practice ring, you're not of noble birth. But when he speaks, we're back at an angle that still shows him against them, but not directly behind like it was for them. Well, so we lie. How did the nobles become noble in the first place, huh? Then we move closer up on him as a new 180 degree line has been established from the previous angle. They took it at the tip of a sword. I'll do it with a lance. A blunted lance. Oh, no matter what, a man can change his stars. And I won't spend the rest of my life as nothing. That is nothing. And nothing is right where glory will take us. We're the sons of peasants. Glory and riches and stars are beyond our grasp, but a full stomach. That dream can come true. Then once again, he moves across that 180 degree line into a new two-on-one confrontational position as he gives them an ultimatum. If you can take your coins, go to England, eat cake. But if you can't, you come with me. And then a close-up of them on the opposite side of the previous 180 degree line, showing how there's been a shift in the conversation and they now have a choice to make. Back to the confrontational view. You see, money doesn't matter. But then we move to the opposite view behind him, which is now used when a fight is about to break out. Yeah! We get an overhead view of the fight to once again establish where they are, followed by a closer view of what's going on. We then have the camera move around the characters to establish a new 180 degree line, getting individual close-ups of each person from their side of the 180 degree line to show their individual feelings. You see how hungry I am, do you? Damn your stomach, what? 
<laughs> and it works because we had that initial shot right after the fight that first established where everyone was positioned. Hold it. Please. That's 13. Silver pieces, three men can change their start. And once they're finally in agreement, William moves in closer to Roland so that they're both in the same frame to show how everything has now been resolved. God love you, William. <laughs> I know, I know. No one else will. <laughs> it may seem like that's taking a lot out of this, but there really are a lot of little things you can do with your framing that help better tell your story, and that's what this channel is all about. I have lots of videos on framing concepts, so be sure to check out my playlist because they'll help you understand how to use these concepts to improve your videos even more. But if this video is helpful, then please hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this examining movie scenes. Subscribe for more videos in the future and I will see you soon.